Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, my name's Charles, and this is a, well, they bill it as a digital wireless multifunction LED ammeter voltmeter with color display. Like, they've named this thing a million different things. Um, you can find them on Amazon. They run about 20, 30 bucks. But nobody has yet to show me a video how they actually hook these things up, and this is the reason why. Um, I'm actually going to show you the English version, if you can read it. Uh, let's see. All right, so here's the English version of the... I broke... Oh, that's why. Anyway, so here's the English version of this. And here's... Let's scroll down and get some... Uh, diagrams. Now... It's not the most clear and cut and concise. There's a couple different versions. And for anyone that wants to know what the actual back of this thing looks like, it looks like this. Kind of like that. Pardon my workbench, it's a bit on the messy side. But I wanted to show just a quick video of how this thing is actually hooked together. How this thing hooks up. Um, now, I'm planning on using this for... Just, a, just extra information off of a solar panel charging for a sailboat. Um, I've got a 50-watt solar panel coming. I've got a charge controller already, but I wanted to get a little bit more information as far as amps going in. And you know, and you can also use this for, apparently you can use this, it's bi-directional, I guess, so you can use it going in or out so you can see whatever you're doing. There's a lot of different functions that you can use. Um, but there's one other English-speaking video that I've found that addresses the same display type, but it's made by a different company, so the back of the thing is completely different. Uh, if I can find it... Um, mm -hmm. There you go. If we can find it, it's made by... The video is by Julian... And this is what it looks like. Uh, it's on YouTube, and I'm, I apologize for kind of half-stealing it. But if, you, if I pause this real quick, you can see on the... Um, you can see on the... Uh, up here in the corner, how that one has got... Ah! Crap. That's what happens when you hit the buttons the wrong way. Anyway, uh, it's got a dual-in, dual-out... Uh, there we go, quick, look. Now, in this version, in this display, your power into the meter comes here. You've got your battery load here, you know, your, your source coming in from here, and then you've got your load out here. Um, so if you were charging, your charger would come in here. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it's positive, negative in, positive, negative out. This one, not so much. Um, my colors are not even close to accurate. Um, but, so the short version of this is we're simulating my solar cha my solar charger with this battery charger, and we're, we're simulating the battery bank with this tractor battery that I forgot to give somebody yet. Anyway, and then the display itself. This, this display is actually wireless, as long as you have some sort of power going to it. They come with a little jumper wire that you can pop the cover off and wire directly to a 12-volt power supply. And then you don't need this USB cable, or you can piggyback your USB cable from the main unit to the control unit to the display. Uh, and this version I bought um, came, this cable's about 10 feet long, 3 meters, way plenty that I need. Um, even though this is supposed to be a wireless display, people say that they don't really make it very far as far as range. But this is going right next to my power panel, so it's not a big deal. Leaving that aside, basically what this is is a glorified negative shunt. Um, so you're basically going to run, um, now in this case you've got your source and then your load. So source, in my case, would be my charger, and this is basically your negative shunt. So you're going to run negative in and then negative out, and then your positive from your charger and go through. It's just a straight through. You're not going to hook that directly to this. Basically, all you're doing, um, and I did find one person right here on YouTube, and that kind of gives you good, uh, good exp uh, 
display of what I'm talking about. Your power is just straight through, and then all you're doing is interrupting your negative on that shunt there. Um, that's basically exactly how this wires up. The only reason I'm showing you this is because that video is not in English and it's only on screen for about three seconds. There's no description whatsoever and it took me forever to find even that. And I basically wanted to, I basically wanted to just verify for myself that that's how that worked. So I wanted to verify that this was basically just a shunt style meter and that's kind of what I was doing. So this is my solar panel negative coming in. This blue wire represents the negative going out to my battery bank, to the negative. Um, power from my charger is bypassing everything and going straight to the battery bank, just as that would be, you know, power coming in and going straight through to the battery bank. All right, so again, negative shunt, power coming straight through. Now, the other thing is this little white wire up here, and that's... Actually, I used white here as well. Uh, this meter does need to get 12 volt power from somewhere. Negative, we've already got a ground coming in. But we do have a positive lead, and that's just a basic 12 volt lead coming off of the power. So you've got power. That's the only place that this gets power. You're not trying to run your full power load through the meter. You're only using it for the negative. Um, these little connections aren't going to handle 30 amps worth of power. So don't try to use this as like you're in and out for both positive and negative because it's just not going to work. So all you're going to do is just kind of piggyback a short power, and it doesn't have to be much. It doesn't take a lot to actually run this thing. And then you're negative in, negative out, and then you display over. And then right now you can see that it's actually running, the, it's actually displaying what the battery is right now, 12.5 volts. So now if we plug my charger in, actually, what am I doing? I'm going to actually set my phone down. Oh, I was hoping that would be a good angle. But I fail. There we go. So we're going to plug the charger in. So now we're going to plug the charger in, and you'll see it light up. I lost juice from somewhere. Oh, there we go. So now you're going to see it light up. You're going to see the volt. Oops, move my camera. You're going to see the voltage jump because now we're charging. So we are actually charging the battery. You're seeing that I keep interrupting. I keep losing my. There we go. My USB wasn't plugged in. Now, you'll see a couple of things on here. For example, you're seeing the voltage climb because it's actually charging. You're seeing the amperage going into the battery and the wattage being used. And then at the bottom, you'll see, you know, little things here and there. And I believe that's just the display, what it's actually using. Up here in the corner, that is just to let us know that we're hardwired. If I was running this by itself, um, for example, let me unplug it from here. So the display is going dark because we have nothing on it. I'm going to hook it. I'm just going to plug this into my computer. And that's going to give me power for this. Okay. Now we're plugged back in. Now you'll see up in the corner that now we have a, a wireless indicator. That's basically telling us now we have a signal coming from the display, but you'll still see that all our numbers are still there. Um, and then it's just a matter of trying to figure out how to uh, how to handle, uh, how to figure out the how to figure out this stuff. Um, now the output, I believe that's what I'm on now, is actually out. And you can turn that on and off by hitting the OK button. And then you'll see that when I hit it, it turns off. And if memory serves, that's supposed to actually just kill it all together. That relay is supposed to actually break. And then we would lose the charging altogether. And I believe we have actually lost charging. Let me turn that back on. Oops. Ah, it's getting in my way. There we go. On. And... 
Yep, now we're charging again. Um, clear, I don't remember what that does. Oh, that just clears all information and starts us back over. Um, battery, this is what you actually set your, your battery at. So for example, in our boat's case, we're going to be using basically a 105 amp hour battery. So we're going to actually set it to half that. Um, oh, I guess I got to hit okay. Um, amp hour setup, like, you know, zero to hundred, fifty percent, so forth. Set, we can turn certain ranges on and off. Um, all that fun stuff. You can have the display turn on and off after so long. ADR. I don't know what that does. Oh, that's, uh, there's, you can actually set more than one of these. These things have the wireless you can set. Basically, it's the wireless address, your wireless channel. Um, we're going to leave that there. Um, over current protection and no current protection you can set. Um... NCP, that's the top one. No current protection, over current protection, so that way you can actually have this thing by relay. You can actually have it triggered to turn off if you had a certain thing, just like low voltage protection. We can set that to say, hey, if our battery gets to a certain a certain voltage, turn that off. And then over voltage protection, you know, like so for example, if I could set it to say 10.5 if if our battery dropped down to 10.5 volts it would automatically interrupt the circuit and try to prevent the battery from going down farther so why not over voltage now for example if we set it to 14 you'll see that it just triggered over protection so i'm going to unplug Okay, so I just unplugged the charger. We've got this set to 14. So now we are back in on mode. And I'm really sorry about the focus of this thing. I'm trying to keep it... It's like right on the edge. And my phone is not exactly the best for holding focus. There we go. Maybe I can... There we go. So now we're at 13 volts coming out of the battery. 12.8, you know, and so forth. But as soon as I hook this back up, remember our over voltage protection is set for 14. So as soon as this charger kicks on, click. As soon as this hurts 14 volts in charging, which it should in a second, you're going to see it click the OVP on the top of this thing and go to over voltage protection. 13, 6, 7, 8, and click. Now we are, uh, it's basically not doing anything now. Um, so that's that. Um, so we're going to just turn that off for the time being. Um, and then the output again, the output is on and off. Clear just resets all your information. And that's this thing in a nutshell. Um, like I said, this thing, the version I bought came from Amazon and it's called... Um, da, 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 da. You'd think I'd be able to find it, considering I just had my Amazon page up. All right. So the version I bought is listed as the KK Moon DC Multifunctional Wireless Digital Bidirectional Voltage Current Power Meter Ammeter Voltage Meter Capacity Cool blah, blah, blah. 29 bucks with prime shipping. Um, they do also sell it, like I said, if you look down here, you'll see the KK Moon that I bought, the D-Rock, which has more reviews. Uh, you've got another D-Rock. Um, that's a 30 amp version. Same thing I bought. I bought the 30 amp. Um, but they do make these go up to 100 amp. Um, Yiko, they make another one. Um, so personal preference as far as those go. Um, they're all about the same price. This K Narco one goes for a 300 amp service. Um, and it's basically pick your poison. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, that's how this thing works in a nutshell. Really crappy video, really short version, but 
I just wanted to show that in English, this is relatively simple to hook up. The directions are kind of a pain, and if you're not familiar, then so be it. But all you're going to do is you're going to go from your negative output of whatever you're charging or whatever into here. And then you're going to go, so basically negative to here, and then your negative is going to continue off of this side out to whatever you're doing. Your positive just kind of bypasses this all together. And then you're just going to kind of piggyback a tiny little positive 12 volt wire to the display or to the meter to make it run. Because without that, it doesn't. But that's basically it. It's a big negative shunt. Um, so as long as you remember that, then you can pretty much know how to hook it up. And uh, yeah, so that's basically how we're running. Right now we are charging my little battery away. And it tells you, you know, what kind of voltage we're pushing, what kind of amperage the is coming in. So this will be nice. My solar panel, I'll be able to tell how much voltage is coming out of the charge controller because I'm actually going to go solar panel to charge controller, charge controller to here and then pass through. But I'll be able to tell at a glance what kind of numbers that we've got coming in and that sort of thing. Anyway, uh, it was a little longer than I thought it was, but anyway, hope it helps.